सो हेलो एवरी वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेलकम टू एवरी बॉडी टू दिस चैनल एंड वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड मेनी थैंक्स टू सुमन फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन प्रोसीड्योर इन डिफरेंट कंट्रीज आउटसाइड इंडिया सो इन एब्रॉड बेसिकली आफ्टर फिनिशिंग आवर मास्टर वी स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग अबाउट डूइंग आवर पी एच डी इन आउटसाइड इंडिया मीन्स टू ऑप्शन बेसिक टू ऑप्शन इन आई दर इन यूरोप और इन यू एस In US, um, we need to um, go for the GRE and TOEFL before applying. But if you want to apply in uh, Europe, you don't need to this GRE and TOEFL mandatorily. And the application process is also quite simple. And the main difference uh, also um, between US and Europe. Mm, that uh, you directly apply to the professor in which group you are interested. Uh, that's uh, in case of euro but if you go for us so you have to apply directly to the university so you don't know in which group you are going to join at the end so this will decide probably after first semester uh, or something like that so now come back to the application procedure in europe so in europe i am doing my phd in epfl uh, in switzerland and uh, mainly in europe uh, mainly germany and switzerland and france are quite well known in chemistry and let's come back to um, about switzerland application procedure so the application procedure in europe is quite much more general you have to write um, you have to apply through email directly to the professor so for that you have to write a cover letter and you have to attach a cv and um, you have to write the name of the referees it can be two or three sometimes it can vary so uh, come back to the cover cover letter so for writing the cover letter i would like to point out few things so when you are writing take your time don't do it in hurry because this is your first impression that uh, you are going to express to the professor so um, it has to be very nice so um, take your time when you are writing this cover letter and in cover letter few things has to be clear that why you are Mm, interested in that particular research areas or in that particular research group and you have to describe your previous research experiences and if you have any paper publication that would also help you during in your application process and then you have to put the name of the referees um, either two or three it can vary and put the name if you have in your list some big guy some big indian professor which have a good correlation with some professor in europe uh, in the same field of chemistry so the, this um, sometimes um, will help you you have some advantage out of that and most importantly um, don't send too many application to the same professor because then it's it's a bad impression and before sending the whole application check the website that uh, what criteria you need i mean what kind of things you need to attach in your application because sometimes if your application is not um, complete form then um, they will not uh, even take into consideration about your application so just be careful before sending check uh, that um, you are done with uh, all these things then just uh, the normal procedure you have to wait and then i guess you will receive some response from some professor then he will uh, actually give you an offer for um, skype interview and over skype you have to just present your previous research work and probably he will mention you the presentation time and here the most important thing if he says uh, the presentation um, is uh, within 20 to 25 minutes so try to finish within this time range because here people don't want um, to present or to hear a long presentation so just be on time and present very very well and very nicely to the point don't make a big history so and in presentation few things you have to be careful one thing is that let's say in your pro in, in a project which uh, you worked with someone and and in when you are presenting you are presenting the whole work so few things you have no idea how to do that so you can put uh, everything in your presentation and just um, when you are presenting you just say it clearly that uh, which part you did personally and which part did the other guy 
or you can learn from that guy how he did uh, all these things and just know about all these things because sometimes he may ask you some experimental part so if you if you did not involve on that part then maybe you don't know and if you don't know anything just be clear that um, you don't know don't try to pretend that you know and you are saying something very absurd thing that's that's a very bad impression sometimes if you know something you are clear that you don't know it's it's it's, it's quite clear that some i mean it's impossible to know everything for a particular person so you may not know a few things so that's you have to be clear then that is done maybe he can ask you some basic synthetic problem out of that just to check basic knowledge so interview is done of course you can ask a few general things if you're interested on that professor so you're quite free to ask him then you have to wait for his response so let's say by good luck you got uh, the response from the professor for the second round um, on-site interview so for that one you have to apply to the university online portal so you'll apply because you have to apply otherwise um, the um, because they will pay basically university will pay your all the expenses like the flight cost and also the hotel um, they they will book for you so you don't have to worry about that just you will come here and you have to present your same research work in front of the whole group member as well as professor will be also there so you present it the same discussion with the members and then again sometimes they will ask you some synthetic problem and after that uh, you will have the opportunity to discuss with all the group members um, maybe sometimes not all but at least few of them just to know the group culture and also they will present in front of you their recent uh, research so this way you can decide maybe in which particular research area you are interested so this way it's a very nice i mean they are very open you 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 have to be open in front of them if you are shy then sometimes it's a bad impression so they will think that this guy is quite shy and he's not that much interactive with us so you have to be interactive so that uh, they have, they had a good impression on you <laughs> because sometimes professor will discuss with the um, with the group members about their impression their opinion about you so this is quite important so when all the discussion is done you will go for lunch with the members so in that case again they will pay for you and you'll come back to the lab and you have a final discussion with the professor just a formal discussion if you want to start uh, when you want to start or in which field you would like to um, prefer all these things then you are done with everything they'll come back to home and in the meantime professor maybe uh, finish his other interviews and then if you are um, lucky or if he's uh, fine with you if all the impression is good from the beginning to the end then probably he will make you an offer and then he will accept it and then rest of the process will be very similar because then the secretary will contact um, to you about all the um, visa procedure and then you will come here you will finish all the administrative stuff and here the painful thing is to find an apartment because there is um, no option to find apartment um, if you're outside switzerland so if you are in switzerland then you can find your um, permanent apartment but you can find some temporary option outside from the so from switzerland so through airbnb or through some other option in facebook group so you have something but in other cases when you are here everybody is very helpful everybody will help you how to do all these stuff and the lab environment quite good everybody is quite friendly and here even not inside a group even with different group uh, all the people are quite friendly you can discuss with uh, different things about chemistry about outside chemistry about life and here the life is quite good because you have a balance between your chemistry life and your personal life so um, normally working hours is more or less same it's eight to six theoretically but it's quite flexible so you can manage your time based on um, and then basically during the weekend it's up to you it's your choice if you want to come if you have some work to stuff um, or stuff to finish you can come or else uh, you can enjoy your personal things and 
nobody will complain about anything so you are only responsible for your own work so nobody will bother about you and normally that's all and for the funding is quite good and because it's uh, here is quite expensive actually so you'll get more money and also you have to um your your all the expenses also quite high so at the end i mean you will save a lot of money so that's all more or less and for about the phd course here yeah, normally it's quite different from germany that um, we have to finish some uh, credits so after one year you have to write a report and you have uh, to prepare for the exam that the candidacy exam so you have to pass that exam this is quite important so that is done and during the four years you have to finish 600 hours as a teaching hours that is uh, different from the germany it's more or less like us so you have to finish this teaching hours during your four years phd so that's thing this is sometimes quite interesting because um and for me like if you don't know french then like you have less option for the teaching duties because few courses really you need to learn french you need to speak french so um, otherwise you have the um, small option for your teaching duties even for the language you can learn the language because there are many courses from the university language center it's, it's free for the pg students so it's quite interesting um that's all more or less um good luck for your application and many more thanks to suman for organizing this um with all these people who are um, doing their phd postdoc in outside india either in europe or either in us so it's a good collaboration with suman and thanks all of you for watching this video and good luck